Next is epinephrine. There are a couple of different ways that we can use epinephrine with our patients. This one is going to be uh, the treatment of bradycardia or the treatment of hypotension in a patient in which you need to uh, provide them a presser. The dose is the same in this situation. It's two to 10 micrograms per minute. In this situation, it is not weight-based. A 100 bag of saline, one, one in thousand, one in 1,000 uh, milliliter epinephrine, and a syringe to draw from. Now, if you're going to use a 500 bag, you're going to use two one in 1,000 epinephrines. Once it's primed and ready to go, okay, tubes in place, last therapy, no. Drug library, no. What is the volume to be infused? In this situation, the volume to be infused would be the 100 milliliters of fluid. It's telling the pump how much fluid we have to deal with. Now, from here, you're going to scroll up to special functions. You're gonna choose special functions and then choose dose rate calculation. Now, first, we're going to build our concentration. In this situation, we have one milligram in an XX, or a known volume of fluid. What is the milligram amount? What is the volume? Is this weight-based? In bradycardia and the treatment of hypotension as a presser is not weight-based. Now, what's the dosing? Well, we know it's micrograms per minute. What dose do we want to go with? It is 2 to 10 micrograms per minute. You can start wherever you feel uh, comfortable and wherever you um, have determined that the patient's uh, either stability or their blood pressure might be uh, that's safe for them. For training purposes, just going to start with two. At this point, it's going to infuse at the programmed uh, dosing at two micrograms per minute. If you want to know other data about what's going on, this is your uh, rate. If you just hit back, It'll take you to your rate. It'll um, redo concentration. There is your dose again. It will also tell you how much volume you have remaining here and how long you have until that volume is expelled. In this situation, it's 8 hours and 20 minutes. I hope to goodness that uh, you can get your patient transported before then. So let's say that uh, the patient's blood pressure uh, and stability is not trending fast enough or you can uh, you want to adjust the, the dose up. Simple, you just hit the arrow button toward the dose, and as you choose what's going on, again, that's determined by you and your partner, and now it'll infuse at the four. It will not change the, uh, the rate or the dose itself until you've confirmed it through uh, the OK function. To turn it down, is the same way you're just going to bring the number back down. 